James Kaufman, World News Report today, January 23rd, 2025. God bless you and yours. No matter where you are in the world, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a bit of a problem. We have an 85 to 105 foot space rock that's going to make its way between Earth and the moon on February 4th. This is a very large rock. One of the largest I remember passing between Earth and the moon. Now, there's quite some time before February 4th, so we do have some things that can change. Again, this is an 85 to 105 foot space rock moving at 6.2 kilometers per second. It's an inner solar system rock, as you can see here. I'm going to zoom on in and take a look here. And you can see that they've just picked it up. And it is at a bit of an inclination. Not moving very fast, but it is so large. Again, this is 2025 BB2. 2025 BB2. And this is one of the largest space rocks I remember flying between Earth and the moon. Now, a lot of people talk about large space rocks, but they're usually talking about several lunar distances out. We'll look at some data on this, but before we do, let's bring it up to the fourth and see how close it gets. It's going to be a close shave here on the fourth. And see that it is right on top of Earth here. And uh, again, it's going to fly between Earth and the moon. Again, 2025 BB2. A very large space rock. All right, taking a look at some data and details from this rock. Well, I don't see anything good on here. Total observations, 29 observations over a two-day period. It was first spotted on the 21st. Today, the 23rd is the solution date, as you can see up here. The really bad part about this is it has a condition code of 9, which means highly uncertain. They don't know how large it is and where it's headed yet. Now, this condition code might be decrease and they might actually become more certain to where this rock is headed but right now your your guess is as good as theirs which is never a great thing when you're dealing with a space rock moving through at 6.2 kilometers per second passing between earth and the moon i don't remember seeing a condition code this high Highly uncertain to where this rock is going. They've only had 29 observations. It was first seen by Automatic, our AI software. And I know they're keeping a very close eye on it right now. I'm surprised they released the data after only 29 observations, especially with the condition code so high. They must be worried about this one, folks. Taking a look at the close approach data, they have extrapolated almost nothing. The two entries. First, the rock passes the moon by 0 0.0037 astronomical units. And the next day, it goes, well, makes its close approach to Earth at 0 0.0019 astronomical units. So, it looks like it's going to be a lot closer to Earth than the Moon, and there's regularly about 220,000 miles distance between the Earth and the Moon. So you can get an idea of where we stand here. Now this is going to pass Earth again, or make its close approach to Earth again on February 4th at 8.51 UTC time, so about 2.51 central time here in the U.S. 
We rock this large in a condition code of nine. We're going to probably have to do an update on this, and I will be watching it for the next few days. Again, we have a very large space rock, highly uncertain trajectory. Uh, there's a bit of an inclination moving between six and seven kilometers per second. The rock looks to be 85 to 105 feet in diameter. So we're talking about a 10-story building. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is a big rock. A big rock. And we all, we all need to pray that 2025 BB2 makes its way safely between Earth and our moon on the 3rd and 4th of February. That said, God bless. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible. Bizarro world.